Welcome everybody to my latest video. For this video, uh, I'm basically going to be showing you guys some uh, recent um, acquisitions I've gotten for my arcade room. Now, one thing you may not know about me is I'm starting to collect um, uh, strategy guides. And it's basically for games I play a lot. Um, not that I really need them. I basically just collect them as an art piece and for other reasons, um, such as these ones right here. We got the God of War, Chains of Olympus, and God of War 2. Now, the reason that I got these particular guides was because um, I really like the God of War uh, series of video games, and so does my son. The thing is, um, you know, he's young, and the games tend to be a little too difficult for him. He doesn't know really what to do or what to look out for. So these guides, you know, help him. But um, anyways, like I said, we got Chains of Olympus and God of War 2. These cost me nothing. I know they're kind of old. Uh, I did some arcade work for someone, uh, just basically um, helping to install a monitor. And he paid me like 20 bucks to install it and hook it up. And he also gave me these in trade, uh, or as part of the, the work I did. So I got them, and, you know, I'll add to my collection. Now... I got some other stuff, and if you remember um, a while back, a couple videos ago, I had a person who sent me the um, Art of Capcom and Street Fighter tribute um, books. Um, let me, I'll show you a picture right now in case uh, you didn't see the video, but hold on. Okay, so there's the, the books that I got. Anyways, that same guy who traded me those, um, he was going to be in the area where I lived, and he offered me another trade. Basically, he needed some wiring done on his arcade cabinet. The guy was really new to the whole arcade scene, didn't know one thing from another, and just like all of us, he has to start somewhere. And so basically, I did some work for him and also gave him a little quick... Uh, a classroom session of what to look out for and what to do and what not to do on um, his arcade ma machine. Now one of the things he gave me here was the Street Fighter Anniversary Collection. And I actually used to have this game. In fact, I still might actually have it. Um, it was for the PlayStation 2 that I got it for. Anyways, um, if you don't know, it has a Hyper Street Fighter 2 Anniversary um, Collection on it, as well as Street Fighter 3 um, Third Strike. So I got this uh, from that one guy. Um, it was pretty cool. He actually had two of these. He had one that came with the musical CD and one that didn't. Obviously, uh, this one doesn't have the CD. Pretty good book. Um, like I said, I don't really use it for myself. I collect guides as art. But also, um, again, for my son and um, his friends, and actually my daughter too, they, they play the Street Fighter games I have every now and then. and you know, they're, they're sometimes just they don't know what they're doing and these guides help them. Now in addition to this guide, I also got from the same guy a Street Fighter Alpha 3 guide. And as you know, one of my machines, my um, Jalico Pony Mark IV, I primarily play Street Fighter Alpha 3. Now this guide is for, sorry about the reflection of light, um, this is actually for the PlayStation version of the game. but you know, you can still use it for the arcade, and, you know, lately my son has been into Street Fighter Alpha 3 a lot because of this book. Uh, it's really good. He's learning new combos, so he's really excited about that. Um, but, again, another reason why I got these was for him to learn, because the whole point of playing a game is to have fun, and, you know, he would before get frustrated because um, he wanted to have fun, he wanted to pull off some you know badass combos, he just really didn't know how. So this has actually helped him out a lot. Now the last um, guide that I got in trade um, from the, the YouTuber I helped, um, this is a guide that I had before and I sold it, I regretted it, and this guy actually had it so I was thrilled when he was um, going to trade it for me. This is the Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess Collector's Edition of the Strategy Guide. 
Um, if you don't know what this is, it's basically a you know very nice looking version of the normal strategy guide. It comes on a hardcover um, bound book. Got some like gold, uh, what do you call it, plating, not plating, um, filling, I, I don't know. Basically just looks really nice. Um, it was a really awesome book. I plan to keep this sealed until I have reason to open it. I don't have Twilight Princess anymore. So right late now there's really no need to open it. But for those of you who don't know about this guide, inside there's a cloth map, a, a cloth game map. So that's pretty cool, and when I eventually open this, I'll probably take that game map out and frame it on one of the walls in the arcade room. So, there we go, just a short video of some of the items I've just acquired. Not really arcade cabinet related, but just thought I'd show some progress, and like I said, I got these from one person and these three from another person and I basically got it for the same um, for the same reason. Uh, for this guy I did some arcade work, some uh, installing of a monitor, I got some cash and I got these. And for these, uh, again, did some arcade work, gave a guy a lesson on um, arcade cabinets, did some rewiring. So that was pretty cool. So eventually I'll probably have these up in a nice row in my, ar in my uh, arcade room on one of the shelves or something. It just adds to the artistic uh, visualization, I guess you could say. But just a quick video. So until next time. That's it, man. Game over, man. It's game over.